Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nina, and I'm back with another Semester at Sea video. <laughs> Seems as though sass is the only thing people care about, which I get. And this is kind of a fun video because it made me go through all the stuff that I got on sass. This is gonna be a video about everything I bought while I was on Semester at Sea, like each country I bought it in and all that jazz. So let's get into the video. Okay, so most of this stuff is at my apartment in San Diego. So I decided I'm just gonna talk about it and then once I go back to school next week, I'm gonna film all of the things and put little clips in while I'm talking about it. Some of the stuff I have here, so what, what I do have here, I'll show you. I bought a lot of clothes, I would say, on Semester at Sea. I also just bought a lot of stuff for other people. The thing I bought the most of would be elephant pants. I actually, I think I have a few pairs with me, but but I bought a ton of elephant pants when I was on Semester at Sea. I had one pair that I bought before that I would have something to wear off of the ship in like India before I had the chance to buy some elephant pants. But this is my favorite thing I think I have purchased on Semester at Sea because I wear them all the time still. And it's quickly becoming my favorite thing to wear. I have a few pairs of me, so I'll show those to you. Okay. So I have a few pairs, so I'll show them to you. These ones I got in Myanmar in Begon, which I think one of my biggest regrets was not buying more because they were only like $3 a pair. And these are my favorite because they're like stretchy and also um, they kind of look like a skirt, but the they're kind of open legged pants. So they just kind of like crisscross and like flow and uh, they don't have like the elastic at the bottom, which I like. Yeah, I love these pants. I wear them all the time. Wouldn't recommend wearing them on a windy day. They just go straight open, but um, yeah. And also elephant pants are a great gift to get people of as a souvenir. I bought elephant pants for my sister, my roommates, everybody that I was looking for gifts for. Um, I have this pair. Right here, it's uh, I like this kind too, so it's like elastic -y at the top, and then it has elastic at the bottom too. But they're really flowy, and I'm really stretchy. Has a pocket, and they're the same kind of thing, they're like really stretchy, and uh, they've got the stretchy at the bottom too. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. It's the elephant pants. Let's see, you can buy elephant pants in Ghana, South Africa, India, Vietnam. There's a lot of places to buy the elephant pants, Myanmar. Yeah, so I wouldn't be worried if you don't have any before. There's gonna be plenty of places to buy elephant pants and like different kinds of skirts for the Taj Mahal. Oh, that's the other thing. Okay, so when I went to the Taj Mahal, a couple of days before we went on the, our field program, they had a market outside the ship with all the pants and skirts and all the clothes that you should wear to all the religious sites just to like cover up because you can't show your shoulders or your knees or anything. So I bought this beautiful pink skirt. It goes all the way down to your um, feet and it was like sparkly and it's like one of my favorite things ever. I got this like bright yellow shirt to go with it for the Taj Mahal. So that was probably my favorite two items of clothing that I bought and they're at school. So I will show you them when I go to school. Actually, I have the yellow shirt here. Okay, so I have the yellow shirt here. I got this in India at the market and I just thought it was so fun and bright colors and it went with the pink skirt. So I'll show, maybe I'll flash a few pictures of me wearing it. And then I had this white shirt that I wore in India um, with my red elephant pants and I'll put some pictures of that too. But actually my mom got this in Mexico a couple weeks before I went on semester at sea. So I brought this with me, but I saw this exact same shirt in a random store in the port city of Kochi. So like this was a really good one, really flowy, uh, breathable, 
all that stuff because it's really warm in India, at least when uh, we were there in October. Okay, so that was elephant pants, kind of like more traditional clothing. I got a really cool um, dress from Ghana for my mom and it was like orange and yellow and blue. Ghana's known for their fabrics, so I got two kind of dresses. The second one was like a jumper. So the jumper is like blue and has squares on it and I wore that when I was in Ghana. That one's a really cute outfit. And then I got pants in Ghana and I think I, that's all I got. But I got a lot of clothes. Oh, I got this really beautiful dress from Vietnam. They have these like markets with a bunch of like clothes and shoes and things and they're like handmade. So I got this dress and it's like striped and it's like long and I wore it on the ship a few times. I wore it to fancy dinner. One of the times I'll show some pictures and videos of that. I think that's all the clothes I bought. So now I think I'm just gonna go country by country and tell you what I got from each one. Okay, I'm gonna start with Spain. In Spain, I got my mom this tile. Um, it had a little ship on it. So I got that at one of the markets, I think one of the first days. I didn't buy very many souvenirs in Spain. Just, it was really kind of like touristy stuff. Not that that's like a bad thing. I, I did buy a few little like, you know, tourist magnets and whatever, but um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to save my money. It was the first port, so I didn't really buy much, but I knew my mom would like this tile, so I got that for her. And that tile was from Valencia, South Africa. It was very easy to spend money because it was just, they just had a lot of cool stuff. I actually ended up going, we ended up going to the mall at the v &A waterfront and just bought normal clothes. I needed more like summer clothes because for some reason I didn't bring enough like short sleeves or whatever. So I bought a dress and a shirt and it was pretty cheap. I was like not really souvenir shopping, but more like for needs shopping. We went to Table Mountain the first day we got there and I got a few journals. They were like wooden, they were really cool. And then I got like a bookmark for my friend. I don't know if I can like find clips of these, but um, oh, I saw on my safari kind of four day trip in South Africa, I got these little, we went to this wildlife reserve and I got these little like joke snake eggs for my dad cause he used to get them all the time. It's like a little envelope and you twist um, a thing because it's supposed to be like rattlesnake eggs so when they open it it like spins and it sounds like a rattle it's kind of a joke thing but it was like super cheap that was just like a funny thing I got from my dad I keep looking down because uh, I got my computer with all my notes on here and I think that's all I got from South Africa besides like a ton of snacks I bought a ton of snacks cookies chocolate hot chocolate chips just a lot of food from South Africa because it was the last kind of place where you can get that kind of snack food. I had a grocery store right in the port, so highly recommend that if you're going to South Africa on the ship. And then we went to Mauritius and Mauritius was only a day, but we had a chance to go to this cool model boat making shop, workshop thing. So I got my dad the cheapest little wooden model boat that they had. I think it was like $20 US along with my magnet. So I got that and actually I have it. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a little boat that I got for my dad because he, he just likes boats. And this was really difficult to like transport and because it, I it's like fragile and I didn't want to break it but I managed to put it on the very top of my backpack when I disembarked off of the ship so made it out in one piece after you know two months but yeah so these are the cute little boats that they have there if you are interested. So after Mauritius, we went to India. In India, I talked about a lot of the clothes I bought, which was most of what I bought in India, but I got a few scarves for my mom and my aunt. I think I vlogged that, so I'll insert some of that footage here. India is kind of known for their like pashmina, cashmere, like silk scarves, so they're kind of expensive, but if you can like bargain and get a good deal, I would. I got two for like $40 and there should be a lot more than that. So yeah. Oh, the other thing I got from India was um, a lot of people got a lot of spices. I got some chai tea and some like cinnamon coffee for my friends who really like coffee and tea. So I got some of those. They will no doubt take you to one of the spices slash coffee and tea shops because they're everywhere in India, I learned. So you'll have a chance to do that. 
I also got a really cool elephant, uh, like canvasy type of bag in a store outside the Taj Mahal. Actually, I think I got two bags. One of them I gave to my roommate. The other one I still have. They have a lot of fun bags there too. So those were cool. And I got a journal from India that was just a little journal. I was trying to collect journals, but eh. I just picked one up whenever I saw one because I really like writing. Um, then in Myanmar, as I said, I bought the pants. I also got a few little like bracelets for my friends. I got a bag. They took us to this um, like weaving shop in Baygon and I got a little um, bag that I use even now. It's on my door at school. Um, okay, so after Myanmar, we went to Vietnam, and in Vietnam, I didn't have too much time to, like, shop and buy stuff, but on the last couple days, I got a cool, like, surprise book thing from this bookshop. They had a lot, they had a huge little, like, row of, um, bookstores, which was really awesome, and it was like, all wrapped up already, and so I had no idea what it was, and I knew that it was in Vietnamese, but I still wanted to get one just for fun, so I got a surprise book, and I gave it to my friend who likes books. It's kind of like, you know, she's not gonna be able to read it because it's in Vietnamese, but it's still fun. So I got that. I got a rosary from the little gift shop next to the church um, because my mom wanted me to find something for our priest at our church. So I got him a rosary from the church and we had gone to mass there. So I gave him the little program from mass and the rosary. So <laughs> hope he liked it. I also got these little like fans, just like the classic like little like fabric painted fans for my um little cousins i thought they would like those oh i got this really cute uh knitted turtle measuring tape for my mom because she likes to sew so it was a little turtle and then the tail pulled out to be a little tape measure so that was really cute and then like i said i got that dress from the market i highly recommend you go to the market in ho chi minh if you end up there they've got a lot of cool clothes and handmade stuff so Oh, on the first day, I went to the Vietnam War Museum, which they call the American War Museum, I'm pretty sure. And so um, I really wanted to find something for my brother because he really likes like studying the world wars and like just like he's very interested in the history of America. So I got him a patch and a little pin and then a hat from the museum. So that was really cool. And he, he still has it in his room. He's like, oh, whatever. This is what. It's still in his room. Um, and then we went to China. And in China, I honestly didn't buy that many souvenirs because, well, in China, I didn't have too much time to buy anything because I was on the field program that was hiking the Great Wall of China. But one night we did end up um, going to this market next to the hotel. And it was kind of, it had just had a ton of stuff, like touristy stuff and regular normal clothes and stuff like that but I ended up buying a ukulele for myself. I almost bought a guitar but I knew that I would have to like fly back from Beijing to Shanghai so I didn't but I did get my ukulele and I think I got it for a good deal. I'm not really sure but it was really cool. It's a really nice one actually and then while we were walking this guy was selling flutes so and it was the weirdest sound and I knew my little cousin would really love it so I got one of the flutes so I ended up with a lot of musical instruments in uh China uh I got like a 10 pack of chopsticks so I could just give that to all of my friends and family I ended up dropping my chopsticks I'll put that video in just because it's funny um I got you know my magnet my postcard um I also oh okay so on the last day in Shanghai, we had a day after my field program got back, so we went shopping and this guy took us to the underground markets, which is a thing that I didn't know about, but it's like an underground place where you can buy like a bunch of knockoff, like really high recognition brands. So my friends bought like um, Gucci purses and Gucci wallets and like um, Coach and all those stuff. I got my uh, mom a Louis Vuitton wallet, but like, we still don't know if they're real or not. They're probably not real, but it looks like it. They look very real. So, and then I got my friend a like little cute Prada wallet. And then I got this really cute chess set. It's like a little like fold up chess set with all the little pieces inside. Cause I like chess and I thought it was really cute and I got a good deal. Okay, and then on my, on the field program I was in, in China, we went to this tea house and we did like a tea tasting and they had 
um, afterward we could buy some of the tea that we tasted. So I don't really drink tea, but I really wanted to buy some tea. So I got the smallest tin of like this fruit tea because I think the main reason I did this, because if you buy tea, they give you this little like ceramic boy and the, they call it a pee pee boy because you use it to see if your water is hot enough for your tea and you like dunk him in water and then you pour the hot water over him and if it's hot enough, he like pees. <laughs> and it kind of sounds dumb, but I thought it was the funniest thing ever. So I have one of those because I bought some tea and I've yet to drink the tea, but I think it's so funny. And maybe when I go back to school, I totally forgot about it. So maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Finally, we made it to Japan and I was on a mission in Japan to get my sister something because she's always wanted to go to Japan. So I ended up getting her a panda hat. Oh no, I got the panda hat from China on the Great Wall of China. And then I won these panda nunchucks from our gift exchange. And so I gave her the panda hat and the panda nunchucks and I'll insert a video of her opening it on Christmas here. But um, I got her that. Oh, well, I got my purple wig in Japan, which was really fun and I still have it and I'm still looking for another excuse to wear it um, because I loved it. But other than that, I didn't buy anything in Japan really because at that point I had completely run out of money. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's all I bought in Japan and in Hawaii, I didn't buy anything because we didn't have a chance to go to a gift store or anything, so I didn't get even get a magnet, but that's okay. I ended up with almost every single country with magnet and I think I did except for Japan. I couldn't find a magnet for some reason in Japan, but I had a magnet from each country that's on our fridge currently at the apartment and then I think that's all that I bought on semester at sea like that's like souvenir -y gift wise um i think that's it which was not at all like like not to say it wasn't a lot because it was a lot of things that i got but i definitely 100 percent spent less money on like buying things than many people on my voyage <laughs> um i liked to buy things for other people so i didn't buy a ton of stuff for myself i just ended up giving it away as gifts and Christmas presents or whatever, but um, that's everything I bought on Semester at Sea. Let me know if you want any more Semester at Sea videos. I'm thinking I might have one more in me and then I'm gonna take a break from them because it seems like all I'm doing is talking about Semester at Sea. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. Again, subscribe, like, do all the fun stuff. I'm really trying to put more effort into this channel and I will be still vlogging just for fun and just putting up fun videos because I kind of miss vlogging from the voyage and I will hopefully see you soon. Uh, I don't really have an outro yet and it's been like over a year of me having this channel. <laughs> I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!